Hello students and welcome back to another anatomy video. This is Dr. Ayan from the Veterinary Anatomy channel. In this tutorial, we will talk about the flexor muscles of the carpal joint in the horse. So we will mention also the origin, insertion, innervation and function of this muscle. So let's get started. So now, as you can see, this is the medial view of the forelimb of the horse. Uh, this is the antibrachial region. Now we will uh, talk about the caudomedial group of the muscles found in this area. Let me just uh, tell you that all of these muscles are flexor muscles. Some of them are flexors of the carpal joint, some of them for flexors of the digits. and. Uh, uh, let me just one more time tell you that this was the antibrachial fascia, very strong here. We dissected it and put it to the side, okay? And now we can see, firstly, these two big muscles here. The one located cranially toward the radius is the flexor carbi radialis, flexor carbi radialis. The origin of this or this muscle originates from the medial epicondyle of the humerus. So from the medial epicondyle of the humerus, this is the humerus of the horse, this is a medial view. And this is what I'm talking about, medial epicondyle of the humerus and inserts, if you follow this muscle, it inserts to the proximal part of the second metacarpal bone. So this is again the medial view of this bone. So proximal part of the second metacarpal bone. This is the insertion of it from the name the, of this muscle, flexor carpi radialis. This muscle is a flexor of the carpal joint. This muscle is innervated the flexor carpi radialis innervated by the median nerve. Uh, if we move now a little bit caudally here, we can find this uh, big muscle here. This is the flexor carpi ulnaris. Flexor carpi ulnaris in the horse. Let me just move this muscle to the side. If you don't remember, look, this muscle inserts to the fascia. Antibrachia, you know, antibrachial fascia, that's why this is the tensor muscle of the antibrachial fascia. If we move it to the side like this, you will find that the flexor carpi ulnaris originates from two different uh, regions. So the first one, or let's say it has two heads actually. This is the humeral head and this is the ulnar head. The humeral head originates from the medial epicondyle of the humerus again. Can you read, where is it? This one, yes, correct. And the, the second head, head, which is the ulnar head, originate from the olecranon, if we go like this, so from this area of the olecranon, so the media surface of the olecranon, both of them fuses together and moves down, and if you look exactly, you will find that the tendon is very strong here, inserts to the accessory carpal bone. So where exactly? To the accessory carpal bone, here, okay? Again, from the name is a flexor carpi ulnaris. That means this, the function of this muscle is to flex the carpal joint, the carpal joint. This muscle, the flexor carpi ulnaris, is innervated by the ulnar nerve. And in this case, let's go back here and let me show you the ulnar nerve. As we mentioned before, the ulna nerve moves exactly at this level between the two heads of the flexor carpi ulnaris and give branches, of course, to this muscle. Can you see that? Now uh, I'm going, of course, uh, if you want uh, to see the flexors of the digits, so they are located under these two muscles. We just need to move them to the side and we can see the flexor, uh, the superficial digital flexor muscle and the deep digital flexor muscle. But to be able to show you the exact, you know, shape and origin insertion of these two muscles, so 
I would like now to cut these two muscles in the middle and reflect them up and down so that we can have a better view of the flexors of the digits. So see you later.